G'day everyone, it's Jeff Ware here from bikereview.com.au and today we're looking at the fantastic Yamaha XSR 900. The XSR is built around the platform of the first generation MT-09. So it's got the riding modes, the addition now of traction control. It's got ABS, but it's got really cool styling from the RD 250 and 350 LC era. Single headlight, cafe racer styling, same suspension, upside down forks, but it's also got, like I said, ABS brakes, semi-adjustable rear shock, centrally located cafe racer style, but modernized dash and that cracker of a three-cylinder 900 engine that's absolutely great fun. It's an awesome upright riding position, and overall a really cool bike. You can read the full test on bikereview.com.au to find out more of the technical stuff. But for now, what was the bike like to ride? Well, I got to ride it in a wide range of conditions, from warm sunny days to rainy cold days. And like in the slippery conditions like you're seeing here, the traction control was really, really good to have. You can switch it off if you want to do wheel stands, uh, which the bike is <laughs> very capable of. But you know, in conditions like this, it's great to have it along with the ABS. This is where the riding modes come in handy as well, because you can pop it into a softer mode, B mat for instance, if you want a nice soft throttle, um, not intrusive at all, doesn't unbalance the bike. Uh, makes it very easy to ride in those conditions. Um, standards great around town uh, if you're in a bit of a rush to get to work or you're commuting or you're just having a bit of a fang. And A modes for the really serious riding, you know, your track days or having a really good fang on a Sunday morning through your local twisties. But I preferred standard or B mode. Uh, I just didn't like the initial throttle opening in A mode uh, unless I was really going for it. Uh, there's plenty of grip uh, and mechanical grip on the bike, good feel. Like I said, that suspension, it is uh, fairly basic, but I mean, it's such a good value motorcycle. Um, you're really getting good value for money anyway. If you wanted to get serious, you could upgrade the rear shock to a fully adjustable uh, unit that might have a little bit more control in certain situations. Um, but mostly on the smooth stuff, the bike was really faultless. It's only the really bumpy roads when you really start pushing hard that you might want a little bit more out of the suspension. That would be some of the more experienced riders. Brakes have got really good feel, great power. The ABS is fantastic. Ground clearance is pretty good for a naked bike. It's not a sports bike, but it's not meant to be. Um, heaps of pillion room on the thing. Fantastic styling and overall, like I absolutely loved the XSR 900. Do I prefer it over the MT-09? Um, Look, from a styling point of view, uh, I prefer it over the first generation MT-09. We've since had the new MT-09, uh, which is a pretty good looking bike too. But look, that looks like an RD250 LC to me, and that's where I'm from. So, full report on bikereview.com.au. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.